part two of uh, what is God like. So before we continue, let us start in the word of prayer. Oh, Father God, heaven, thank you, Lord God, for this opportunity that we once again would like uh, we will be studying thy word. Help us, Lord, to comprehend, Lord, uh, things that you want us to, to learn, Lord. We know our uh, mind, our intellect is limited, but uh, you are sovereign God, you are unlimited God. So we'd like to pray, Lord God, that you will give us wisdom to, to know and to, uh, to comprehend, Lord, the things that you want us to learn, Lord, for, for today. Thank you, Jesus, in, uh, for all the things. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. You still remember the, the lesson two weeks ago about, uh, about what is God like? Who are, sino po yung nandi rito for the in last lesson, you rather just said? Can you please raise your hand? Those who are here two Fridays or three Fridays ago. Okay, so mostly bago. <laughs> Patay tayo nito. <laughs> so let us uh, uh, review or a review. What one word would you use to describe God? This is the question. What one word would you use to describe God? Holy. Holy. God is holy. So we have studied previously yung, uh, the moral attributes of God. And those are the things that uh, all, also the believers, those, to, those that are uh, uh, member of the family of God, can also have it in their own. Yung mga fruits. Remember? Okay. So yun ay ibinigay ng Panginoon para sa uh, mga moral attributes na ibinahagi ng Panginoon para sa kanyang mga anak. Okay? So yun dapat yung mga uh, attributes na nakikita sa atin na, na Kristiyano. Amen? Amen? Okay, so what we will be studying today is the non-moral attributes. When you say non-moral attributes, those things that nothing created possesses. So, wala tayo nito. Or, nino man, wala nito. Only the Lord, only God, has this non-moral attributes. Okay? So, let us start. Actually, this is the number three attributes, number three non-moral attributes of God. That God is eternal. In Psalms 90 verse 2. Okay? Let us open. Ano po sinasabi sa Psalms? Verse, chapter 90, verse 2. For the mountains were brought forth, forever thou hast formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. Okay, it's very clear. God is eternal, eternalness. Okay, from everlasting to everlasting, thou art God. God never had a beginning. Okay, that's why he is eternal. God has never had a beginning nor an end. Right? All creation has had a beginning from Satan to the Son. Remember, the first word in the Bible, in the beginning, God. So before the beginning, ando na ang Panginoon. There is God. Okay? So God, all creation has had a beginning from Satan to the Son. They all started. Meron silang beginning, but not God. He has always been. So God ay nandiyan na, even before the creation. Okay? He lives in eternal present. He lives in eternal present. Jehovah is I am that I am. This is what Jehovah means. I am that I am, which represents His eternal presence. What does this mean? God is always in the I am present. I am. Hindi I was, nor I will be. So He's always I am. He is present. Okay? All of our Christian doctrine takes comfort in His eternalness. 
That's why it's very important to study tong uh, 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 doctrine and non-moral attributes of God for us to to know more uh, God, yung kanyang sovereignty, yung kanyang uh, uniqueness, or yung kanyang uh, power, or yung kanyang kapangyarihan. As we as we know more, as we know God more, this is uh, ito po yung isang way to deepen our faith sa kanya. Kasi nakikilala natin siya more. Diba? So this is one way of uh, strengthening our faith. Letter D, for God, everything that will happen has already happened. So sa kanya, yung future, yun, pre, alam niya na yung present na nangyari na sa kanya yun. So for God, everything that will happen has already happened. Isa pa yan sa mga uh, non-moral attributes na pag-aaralan natin later on. Abraham commanded to offer Isaac in, is in Genesis chapter 22 verse 1 to 14. God is experiencing our life with us. So, God is always with us. Whatever yung uh, mangyayari pala in the future, alam na ng Diyos. Ito sa kanya is tapos na or nangyari na. Okay? Number four, number, let's go to the number four, uh, non-moral attributes of God. God is immutable. What does this mean? Anyone? When you say immutable, never change. Okay? In Malachi 3.6, okay? Anybody could uh, please read Malachi 3.6? Sabi, uh, the only permanent thing in this world is to change, di ba? Sabi, ang, 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 ang isang permanenteng bagay lamang na nandito sa, sa lupa ay yung pagbabago. So, this is, uh, this is real, di ba? The only permanent thing in this world is to change, but not with God. Okay? Can you please read, anyone? Malakay 3.6? Malachi 3.6 For I am the Lord, I, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Okay, God is immutable. God does not change. Okay? God's purpose, God's pleasure, God's plan and procedures never change. So, yung God ni Abraham, ni Isaac, ni Jacob is the same God that we are serving now. Amen. Amen. So, God does not change. God's purpose is the same. From the beginning, from the creation of the world, until His coming, His purpose is the same. His pleasures is the same. His plans is the same. Hindi siya nagbabago ng plano. When He created man, okay, when He created everything, He has a plan. And His plan is the same until uh, is coming. So there is no change in His plan and even in His procedures. Okay? God is always the same. God is always the same. Okay? Uh, in letter C, it says God repents but that, but that means He laments. He laments. He does not change His mind. Sa John chapter 3 verse Verses 7 to 10. Diba? And God saw their works that they turned from their evil way and God repented of the evil. The repent in the Hebrew is nakam. Nakam or nacham? Nakam means to draw breath forcibly to groan or to sigh. Ano to sigh? Yung parang nagbuntong hininga? Nagbuntong hininga. Okay? Repent, it doesn't mean when we, when we hear the word God repented, this means He lament. He lament. Okay? Okay. Letter D. All that God is, remember, present tense, all that God is, He has always been, and all that He has been and is, He will ever be. Okay? All that God is, he has always been. So, walang pagbabago, no change. All that God is, He has always been. 
and all that he has been and is he will ever be so it means he will change not God cannot change for the better since he is perfect okay perfect so for God there is no need to 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 be a better God is that such a way that is there such a word that a better God no because God is perfect okay God is perfect superlative of the superlative sabi ni brother Renan ano yung ano yung ano yung yung ilokano word na superlative of superlative nakatanda ko yung kay brother Renan eh so should be like that so God is a perfect God okay uh, all change must be on our part and not God's. So changes, yung mga changes is sa atin yun. Okay? We are, we are uh, uh, subject to change because we are human. All temporary things are subject to change. Diba? May pagbabago, nag-grow, minsan nag diminish minsan uh, tumatanda, Diba? So, there is really, for us, there is a change, but not with God. Okay? So, we are finished with, uh, with uh, God is immutable. So, I still have 15 minutes. Number five, what do you mean by God is omnipresent? Omnipresent. He's everywhere. Parang commercial ng conversion, nakatandaan ko eh. Kilala ng birds at Magic Johnson. It's everywhere. So, God is omnipresent. Omnipresent. In Psalms 139, verse 7 to 12, and in Proverbs 15, 3, God is everywhere at all times. He is everywhere at all times. Okay? Ano yung, mag, ano yung uh, positive na uh, pwede nating uh, gamitin when we know that God is everywhere. The key attribute in fighting temptation of sin. Okay? If you know that God is beside you, okay, that He is near you or behind you or in front of you, you will be uh, uh, what do you call you will be ma ano ka, ma aware ka about committing a sin. Okay? Just like what Joseph, di ba? In Genesis chapter 39, did. Ano yung sinabi, sinabi niya? He was tempted by by the by Potiphar's wife. Okay? Uh, what, ano yung sinabi niya doon? Sayin natin na. Actually, he's not afraid of Potiphar. Okay? But one good thing na sinabi niya dito is what? 39 verse what's that? Uh, what wickedness? What great wickedness? Nine. Verse 9. Oh yeah, verse 9. So, sa how can, how then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So, Potiphar's, uh, Potiphar's was not there when Potiphar's wife tempted to Joseph, right? But in Joseph's mind, though Potiphar was not there, but he knows that God is there, right? So he's afraid, he's afraid of committing sin because he knows that God is with him. God sees him. Okay? So that is one thing na pwede natin pangawakan whenever there is temptation. Okay? That God sees us. That God is everywhere. Okay? Next is God sees me. God is next to me. And God is near me. Oh, what a comfort or conviction. So this is dapat lagi natin i-remember. Put it always in our mind, in our thoughts. God is behind me, God is near me, God is in front of me. So, to, to avoid doing things, doing things, doing the wrong things, I mean. Next, 
Next is practicing the presence of God in your life is one of the great rewarding experiences of the Christian life. So this is what I am saying. Okay? Practicing the presence of God in your life. So let us make sure that the presence of God is always in our life. That He never departs from us. God never departs from us. He's always here. Sometimes maybe He's uh, tapping our shoulder. Run, run, cease. Okay? So let us always ensure that the presence of God is always in our life. Okay? That is, God is omnipresent. Omnipresent. Next is, God is omnipotent. Now, let, is there any question about the first three, three lessons or three non-moral attributes of God? Okay, so, so, God is omnipotent. What do you mean by God is omnipotent? Omnipotent. All? All powerful. Okay? Revelation 96. For the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Letter A, He does whatever His will desires. He does whatever His will desires. He does whatever His will desires. And one good thing na pwede natin panghawakan dito is God's will is always the best. Right? God's will is always the best. So, yeah, always right, always good. That is God's will. Okay? Omnipotence is only limited and directed by His character. Okay? We are invincible in the center of His will, as Philippians 1.6 and Philippians 4.13. Almighty is used 56 times in our English Bible. So it was mentioned 56 times. The word Almighty. And all those 56 times prepared or in reference to our God. Okay? God can do anything as easily as anything else. Because He is powerful. He can do all things. Okay? He can do anything. He can do all things as easily as anything else. So that's how powerful God is. Okay. So any question about the God is omnipotent? We believe, are we agreeing that God is a powerful God? Yes. Is there anyone more powerful than our God? Amen. Okay, so let's turn to number seven. God is omniscient. What do you mean by omniscient? All? All knowing. Okay, this is this is kanina. All knowing. Uh, Psalms 139, verse 1 to 2. O Lord, Thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and mine uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar. Oh. So God is omniscient God. God is an all no all knowing God. He knows everything. He knows even the numbers uh, of your hair, the strands of your hair. Okay? He even knows uh, uh, your deep secret. Okay? So wala po tayo maitatago sa Panginoon. Right? So everything ay alam ng Panginoon. He knows even our burdens, most especially. So whatever burdens that you are carrying now, okay, He knows, God knows it. And God has a way to, to, to give you rest. And all you need to do is give your faith, give your trust, give your full confidence to the Lord. And that burden, and, and He will give you rest. Right? So this is what I shared with uh, Brother M earlier. So, oh, I know all of us have burdens and God knows it. Wala po tayong maitatago sa Panginoon. Okay? All we have to do is pray, give our burden, give our trust and full confidence to God that He can be able to deliver you. Amen? He knows whatever He wills to know. 
Okay? Even yung mga bagay na ayaw natin ipaalam, ay alam ng Panginoon. We can things or secrets to our to our wife or to our to our friends but not with God. There are no secret with God. Okay? He knows us before we are born. Okay? And He knows our thoughts before we think of them. Right? So, bago mo pa palang isipin yung iniisip mo ngayon, alam na ng Panginoon yung iniisip mo. So that is, that's how powerful or how omniscient God is. Hindi mo pa naisip, naisip niya na. Amen? And even kung ano yung mangyayari sa'yo bukas or mamaya after 5 minutes, alam na ng Panginoon. Or yung mangyayari sa'yo tomorrow. You know what will happen to you tomorrow? You, you still, uh, are you sure that you will be still uh, alive or you, you can still wake up early morning tomorrow? You don't know, but God knows. Even the things that you will be doing tomorrow. Okay? So, uh, last Tuesday, or yeah, last Tuesday, I was, uh, ano, last Monday, nagtundak ako ng Bible study sa Shania, and uh, one of our brothers asked me uh, that uh, he wants to get baptized because itong week na to is free sila, wala silang pasok. Okay? So, he decided to, to go to follow God to follow uh, God in water uh, baptism. So it's supposed to be today. But he doesn't know that God has a purpose. That's why I think to, today, early morning, he received a call that he need to go to work. That's why Pastor Enrico matutuloy in baptism. So he has a good intention, but God has meron plan ng Panginoon. So he was asked and forced to 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 report to work today so god knows what will have what will happen to us tomorrow the next day or next month okay sometimes we do planning right but not uh, all that we have planned ay mag mangyayari or mag execute because because god have his own plan for us okay so it's yeah Sabi nga nung lesson natin before, I still remember Brother Joseph's lesson, better to be prepared than to plan. Because God will call you anytime, it's better that you are prepared. Because if you made your plan, and that plan is not in in uh, in agreement with God's plan, useless yung plan natin. Okay? But be prepared, but tatat boys lang tayo. Always be prepared. Okay? So God... God has never learned and cannot learn. Ito pa isang nga sinasabi dito, letter C, ha? God has never learned and cannot learn from anyone or anything. He has never discovered anything because He's an all-knowing God. So, hindi na, hindi na siya kailangan pang, wala na siya kailangan pang malaman dahil alam niya lahat or wala na siya dapat pang madiscover dahil alam niya lahat. Okay? So, hindi siya masusurprise kung tayo minsan ay magkasala at alam niya na alam, alam ng Panginoon na magkakasala ka. Okay? So, uh, hindi natin pwedeng masurprise ang Panginoon. Okay? Because He knows all things. Whenever you come across a question in the Bible from God, okay, whenever, ito, maganda ito, whenever you come across a question in the Bible from God, God never asks a question for information. Okay? But always questions for self-examination. Okay? This is for, not for God, this is for us. For us to examine ourselves. Okay? If there are some questions, you know, okay? this is because God wants us to, to, to have a self-examination. Ano ba talaga? Sino ba talaga ako? Okay? God knows what He wills okay? instantly and effortlessly. God knows what He wills. So everything, everything, God has always already prepared everything. Okay? Alam, alam, nakaprepared na lahat siya. So 
His will, anjana rin lahat yan. Okay? His will is always good. His will is always right. His will is always the best. Oh, so what, all we need to do is to follow His will. Okay? He doesn't know anything better than anything else. He doesn't know anything better than anything else. So are you following? Nasasagutan niyo yung mga blanks? If God knows what He wills to know or there are certain things he, he wills not to know. Yes, as far as the east from the west, so far that He removed our translation, translations from us. As Psalms 103 verse 12 said, By God's grace, He doesn't remember our sins. Okay, this is one good attributes or character of God. He don't remember our past sins. So, kung ano ka, ano yung mga nagawa mo masalanan before, it is finished. God already uh, forgive, forgave your, your sins. And He forgives, He forgets. Okay? Huwag na natin pang balikan. Katulad nung kanta kanina, I am the soul. Diba? So, focus tayo. Ito na, ito na tayo eh. So, let us focus. Do not look back on your past life. Do not look back on your on your past sins. Okay? So, uh, because God has already uh, forgiven your sins. Okay? And He is uh, expecting you, okay, that your life will be changed. Okay? Sabi kanina, di ba? If you met God and there is no change in your life, better ask, are you really saved? Are you really, are you really, uh, uh, are you really know the truth? So, dapat may pagbabago. And that's what God expects from us. Okay? We are all, as humans, subject to change. But God does not. Okay? Let's go to the next topic. Uh, next, number eight. God is sovereign. What do you mean by sovereign? Sovereign. Sovereign. Anyone? Sovereign. Sovereign. Supreme. Yeah, supreme. Okay, what else? Okay. In Jeremiah 13, verse uh, 3 to 4. Okay, but I, then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he wrought a work on the wheels, and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter, so he made it again another vessel as seemed good to the potter to make it. So God, he is the supreme creator. Okay? God is the supreme creator. He has given us a free choice. Okay? But not choosing Him does not stop Him. This is, this is one good thing about God that hindi tayo ginawang robot ng Panginoon. God gave us uh, freedom to choose. Okay? So, choosing Him, this is His will. But denying and rejecting Him, okay, this is not His will, but this has, has a consequence. Okay? So, letter D, God can do what He wants with what is His. We are, we are, we are, we are owned by God, right? So, God can do, if He wants, really, can do things he can control us. But God, hindi ito ginagawa sa atin ng Panginoon. Because He gave us choice. Free. A free will. But He can control. Like for example, the universe. Right? God is controlling the universe. Even the rising of the sun. Even the, the tides. Imagine if God is, in, is not in control. Maybe yung tide maybe tumaas or magkaroon tayo ng flood. Planets may magkaroon, pwede magkaroon ng bagaan. 
Diba? So, God is really in control. Okay? So, this is, uh, makikita natin yung sovereignty ng Panginoon. He is not just, He, he does not, He does not just create things, but He controls also things. Okay? But we are blessed, God gave us free choice. Okay? So, His sovereignty and our free choice work together in harmony to bring Him glory. So, yun pala yun. That's why we, that's why God gave us a freedom to, to choose. Okay? In order for us to to give, uh, uh, to glorify God. Yung yung sovereignty ng Panginoon and our free choice and your, your will, di ba? If we will just follow God's will, yung, yung, yung sovereignty ng Panginoon and our 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 will or yung God's will na pinili natin yung free choice, if we will just following it and will will go smoothly, the result of it is for the glory of God. Okay? So that's it. So, y- ang-, ang choice lang talaga natin is follow His will. Okay? God gave us free choice. But yung choice, yung, yung, yung option is, yeah, meron tayong option, dalawa. Okay? But who will you choose? God's will or not His will? If we will follow God's will, okay, yung sovereignty ng Panginoon, it will, will go with harmony, with our, with, with our choice, then we give glory to God. Okay? So, that's this. History is nothing more than His, God's story. Okay? So, we know history, right? It's the subject history from creation up to these things. Okay? This is God's story. Amen? Amen. So, that will end our topic for today. Thank you very much. Now, let's review. We started with... How many attributes are there? Follow me. How many attributes are there? None. Uh, again, how many kinds of attributes are there? You have two. One is the moral attributes. Those are the attributes that God shared to us. Okay. His attributes that we can also have those attributes. Uh, and then these are non-moral attributes. These are attributes uh, only Him possesses. Okay. This cannot be shared to us. How many did we study? Eight, but we started, we started with number three. Number one is, okay, I'll just give you one and then you name the second. The transcendence of God. He is surpassing. He is without limit. Okay, He is over and beyond. That is transcendent or transcendence of God. What is number two? Trinity. Trinity. God is a what? Trinity. He is one, but at the same time, three persons. We discussed that. And we even spent an extra meeting discussing that. Now, number three, okay, look up here, close your notes. So number one is, God is what? Transcendent. Transcendent. Number two, He is a what? Trinity. 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 Don't close your notes. Number three, He is what? Eternal. eternal. What is the difference between eternal and everlasting? You have the spelling and the pronunciation, but everlasting could be something that has a beginning without end. Eternal is something that has no beginning and no end. Okay, now, so, He is transcendent, He is your uh, Trinity, He is what? Eternal, He is what? He cannot change. And by the way, when we say the, the eternalness, that's why His name here is Jehovah, is what? I am that I am. When God sent, who was the one who went back to Egypt to deliver God's people out? Moses. And, and He said, Lord, if they will ask me who sent me, what will what will my answer be? Okay. Tell Pharaoh, I am sent me. It's not I was. Because if it's I was, then Kalas, it's finished. He is no longer. If he will say I will, then he is not dead because he will be in the in the in the future. But he said, I am. Okay. Tomorrow he will still be I am. In the past, he was still I am. So that name I am sent me, that means. He is eternal. He was the I am in the past. He is the I am at present. And when you read this verse in the future, He is still the great I am. Okay. So He is the I am. The transcendent. 
Trinity, eternal, immutable. Immutable means what? Not changing. Immutable means he will not change. Right or wrong? Right. Wrong. He cannot change. There is a big difference between saying he will not change. Okay, that's probably right, but uh, he cannot change. It is against. It's like God does not lie. He cannot lie. Okay. So he is immutable. Next, he is what? He is omnipresent. That means he is what? Present. This is what it means. Where whatever man may be, God is there. Whatever man is, God is there. Kasi gagamitin ng iba, filosofo, paano pala doon sa loob ng basin, doon sa loob ng septetan, nandun mga Panginoon. Kasi kahit saan nandun siya eh. Ili Suryano, ganyan mag-isip. Ang ibig sabihin, wherever man is, God is there. Where there are two or three that are God in my name, He said, what? That I am in the midst of them. He is present everywhere where, where His creatures are at the same time. We are having the service here, He is here. They are having it in the Philippines, He is there. They are having it, they are in Kenya, He is there at the same time. Basahin niyo yung Psalms 139. Okay, pag binasin niyo Psalms 139 verse 8, what does the Bible say? Quick, let's, uh, let's read that verse. Psalms 139 verse 8. Please write this down, this verse. It's very important. Okay, can somebody read that verse? Binasa natin kasi yung 1 to, ano lang, pwede yung 8 para na ano natin doon. Look at verse 8. 139 verse 8 Psalms, please. Go ahead. Psalms, Psalms 139 verse 8. If I ascend up, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. See? I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. Do you see that? If I ascend in heaven, he is saying, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, thou art there. Whatever you are, okay. God is always there. So, that is the omni, what's that? The omnipresence of God. God is omnipresent. And number six, God is what? Omnipotent. That is a very, very strong word. He is all-powerful. Literally, I read this. He says, He does whatever His will desires. That's very dangerous if somebody is very wicked. For them to do anything they will, uh, anything that they desire. But I like what Brother Ronald highlighted here. Whatever he wills, uh, uh, he does whatever he, his will desires. But his will is always good and it's always right. And God is what? Number seven? Omniscient, that means he knows everything. Okay? He knows everything. Uh, James chapter 4, verse 13 and 15. Can somebody please read that? I'm looking at me watch. James 4. Paborito natin kasi verse 14 lang eh. Pura sino na doon sa mga demoro. Namimiss natin yung 13 and 15. Pakibasa yung 13 and 15. Somebody was a big voice. James chapter 4. Good. Verse 13. Go to now. He that say, Today or tomorrow we will go unto such a city and continue there a year, but buy and sell, and get gain. Fifteen. For what you ought to say, Ganito na, dapat ang sasabihin niyo, sabi niyo dyan. If the Lord will, yeah. we shall live, and do this, or do that, or that. Okay, in verse 15, it's talking about making plans. Ah, let's go to Dubai. Ah, let's go to this. Ah, let's go this. Gumagawa tayo ng plano, binabaliwala na din ang Bino. That's why verse 14, the Bible says, What are you not? What shall be in the morrow? Are you sure you will still be alive tomorrow? It is even like a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. So, sinasabi ng Panginoon, dapat huwag ganyan. Dapat ganito. No? If the Lord will, kung kanoopan ng Panginoon, ganitong gagawin natin. Amen? Amen? That means do not disregard God in your plans because you do not know what's going to happen, but God knows. And so, you say, Lord, is it your will for me to do this? Consult God always in your plans because He is omniscient. He knows what to do. And numbers, number eight, God is what? Sovereign. Okay. No fear to notes. Okay. Let's do this together. Close your notes, please. Let's have, what, what is the word repent, by the way? What does it mean in English? Nakam, which means what? Lament. Hindi yung nagsisi na nagbagong isip. 
Ano din yung masamang loob niya na nangyari? Okay. Eight, non-moral attributes. Okay. Close your notes. Number one is, God is? Dependent. Dependent. Okay. Number two, God is? Good. Number three, God is? Eternal. Number four, God is? Immutable. Immutable. Number five, God is? Omnipresent. That means He's present everywhere, whatever. Uh, you may be, man may be, God is there. And number, what number are we now? Six, God is? It doesn't matter if you interchange. So, I don't know. Omnipotent. And number seven, God is? And then, God is? Number eight, God is sovereign. And please take note of the last part. His sovereignty. God can, can control you like a robot if He wants. Yes. yes. Does He do it? No. no. Because if He do it, you are worshiping Him because you are programmed to worship Him. Then will He be pleased? Will He have glory? No. 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 Because it was, He made you do it. See, He is sovereign, but He is giving you that free choice. So when you exercise that free choice, na pwede kang, sana wala ka sa church ngayon, but you decided to stay in church. So God is what? Please, because you made the right decision. You exercise the free will or the choice that God has given you. And use it to glorify Him. Because if God wants to program you, okay, pwede niya switch yung utak natin, Friday morning, gising ako alas otso, I'll go to church, now I'll stay until 1 o'clock in the afternoon. God can do that if He wants, right? Because He is sovereign. But He gives us the choice to do, uh, matimbang natin what is right and what is wrong. And when we do what is right, he has, we have His approval. He is pleased, He is glorified because we choose to worship Him and because we choose to do what is right. Did you learn something? Amen. Eight non-moral attributes. Now, why does God permit sin? Bakit, if God is really, why does He do it? Okay. Can God stop robbers from robbing? Yes. Okay. Can God stop wickedness if He wants? Yes. We'll discuss that next Friday. Next Friday. There are four things regarding that area that I would like to kite you lately na may pag-aaralan natin next week. We will learn more about not just the Word of God, but the God of the Word. Okay, next time. Okay. Uh, thanks, Al. And so, uh, no more special number. Unless I will be in trouble. Brother Jimmy, you come and lead us a closing song. He just got out of jail. He is now. I want to call him Paul, but Silas. He was arrested last night. And then he, he, he prayed and sang praises in Chinese jail. And then morning time he was out. Okay, Brother Jimmy, you come. It is a son. Look at that. Magpapakanta ka. Okay. Di mo yata nag-isa yung program. Okay. Look at that. Buti ko sa Brother Jimmy, na-experience ka makulang.